Welcome to JavaScript in less than five minutes. I'm Juan Lizarazo. And I'm Jared Potter. And today we're going to be talking about maps. A map is a special object in JavaScript that keeps track of key and value pairs. So we're going to use an example of students here. We're going to say students equals new map right here. And now we have a new map. OK, so how do we add items to this map? We can say students.set. And the very first parameter is going to be the key. And the second parameter is going to be the value. And this could be any sort of data type, uh, as well as an object. So I'm just going to create a small little object here that's going to keep track of an array of classes for this student. So I'm just going to say CS101. And if I want to create a second one, I can come in here and just pushing the up arrow key. And I'm going to say Jared. And I'm going to say that Jared is in CS102. And then if I go ahead and type out students, we can see these two items inside of our object here. OK. And how do we retrieve items from this map? So we can call students.get. And then we can pass in the key of that object. And we will get uh, returned back that object. And if I try to add an item for a student that we already have, what happens? Yeah, that's a great question. So let's say I am trying to add another student named Jared. And let's say that they're in CS 303. Well, if we now look at our students array here, or excuse me, our students map right here, we'll notice that this Jared object is still there. But now it says that there's classes of uh, CS 303. So what this did is it overrid it. And that's why there is this word set here is set will override something if it's there. And if it's not there, it will just populate it. And what happens when I try to retrieve a student that we don't have in the map? So if we go ahead and try to call students.get, and let's say we want to get Bobby, we're going to get returned undefined, which is the universal thing returned in JavaScript when something can't be found. And how do I delete a student there? We can call students.delete. And we're going to pass in the key for that student. So if we go ahead and pass in Jared right here, it's going to return back true if it deleted it and return back false if it does not. And if we now check our students, we now just have one item in there, which is one. What if we're going to get, if we want to get all the students we have in there, all the, all the keys? Oh, there's a few ways we can do that is we can call student.values, which will return a map iterator. And with this map iterator, we can call for let student of that. And then inside of here, we can call console.log the student. And it will um, iterate over those values. So it's going to iterate all of, over those classes there. Um, alternatively, we can also call uh, students.keys, and it will return the map iterator for all the keys of our students. And how do we convert these to an array? So we can call the global array.from function and pass in our students. Um, and by default, if we just pass that in, it's going to return us um, an array of arrays where the array is going to include the very the first item of the array is going to be the key, and the second item in the array will be the value. Um, if we wanted to get just the keys or the values, we can call dot keys or dot values. Last question: How do we delete all the students from these? So we can call students dot clear, and this will clear out all of the items in our map without us having to reinitialize the entire map. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Jared.